Hello and welcome to Air Rider. My name is Ben. In this video, I'm going to be doing a long term review on my helmet here, the LS2 Explorer. I've had this helmet now for about a year, so I'll try and give you as much detail as possible based on the experience of having this helmet over the last year. I'll go through some of the features and some of the interesting bits that I like about it the most. If there's any questions you may currently have, please leave a comment down below. Hopefully, if you're in the market for an adventure helmet, this might uh, give you the necessary information. So let's get started. Here we go. Right, we look at uh, the LS2 helmet. Why I looked at this particular helmet, I had a Shark S900 was the previous helmet. I had it a very long time. Completely different color, and I decided this time I wanted to spend a bit of money, try and get something uh, that was lightweight and had the style of an adventure bike. This is the trail helmet from LS2, and in particular the Explorer brand. Also needed a helmet that had certain features about it as well. But the main thing is, from a design perspective, you can see the classic adventure style and, of course, with the peak. The first time ever that I'd actually had a helmet with a peak on it, so it was interesting to see how it was going to work, because I thought maybe with the wind, um, with me, you know, touring the roads of Ireland, it, there might be an issue with that. So I was quite pleasantly surprised at the result. Right, the first thing I wanted to do was I needed a helmet uh, that was obviously safe and had an extremely high rating. When I looked up LS2, they had uh, their helmets are fiberglass, a high high performance fiberglass composite, which makes them very strong um, in relation to, to impacts. And obviously with the way the energy is dissipated through the helmet, it sounded like it was uh, an exceptional helmet based on that feedback. Um, obviously wanted a helmet that had that adventure look, a look to it, and I was going with something that had a similar color to my bike, obviously with the F800 GS being red. So from a safety perspective, this seemed to be rated very highly, and it obviously has a number of safety features built into the strap and the inner linings. For instance, the linings are easily pulled. You'll see there's pull tabs there. So just in case emergency services uh, need to get the helmet off, they can just quickly release, pull the tabs off. Um, and then also the buckle here has also got a quick uh, a quick release. You just pull it and it'll come loose. One thing to note, the chin strap is reinforced as well and there's the metal clip. I know some of you, there's the one you just kind of thread through and pull. That is a metal clip as well and it's reinforced as well, which is, which is really good. LS2 were very generous when they sent you the helmet, which was an interesting uh, feeling because I never had a helmet that came with a bag. So what they send you, they send you a lovely hand oh, carry case for your helmet that either that has LS2 and it says always ahead on it. There's also inside, there's obviously a helmet bag. Very nice indeed. And it also comes with, the first time I've seen this, is a support, uh, helmet support, like a support pillar. So when you've got the helmet on the counter, you can just put it on the actual pillow itself once it's inflated, which was interesting. And it comes in with the kind of, it's, it's almost like a, it's almost like a velvet um, kind of feel to it. And there's a small bag there as well. And then I mentioned the, I mentioned the pin lock and there's the pin lock for the visor, which I haven't used yet. So um, as far as accessories go, it's very, very good. If we look at air vents, uh, the helmet has front vents, which are located here, and the switch is on the front here. There is uh, side vents as well, it's a matter of just sliding that backwards and forwards. And there is an exhaust vent up here too. And there's also vents at the top here as well, which was really fantastic. So when you're in that the sort of hot climates and you need as much circulation as possible, you've got the exhaust ports at the back, and then you've got sufficient airflow coming through. Uh, there's also a, um, you've got this chin visor as well, which is nice, and the materials are very good. Obviously to help with the wind. When I'm recording, I have a mic in there as well, so it kind of reduces the amount of wind turbulence coming through the helmet, which is, which is pretty good. Right, the peak. Probably the first time in, that I've ever had a, uh, a peaked helmet. 
and I suppose one of my concerns was because I do a lot of road uh, riding is that the you know the wind might catch it and you might you know get that kind of neck pull but oddly enough with the way they've designed it and these channels it, it you don't feel that at all which to me is pretty amazing because honestly when you're doing 100 120 kilometers an hour on the um, on the on the roads um, you're not feeling that pull like you would normally expect and the way they've channeled it they've channeled it really really good um, so that really surprised me um, also it's fully adjustable uh, the peak and with the riding I've done with the sun is it's excellent and it gives you sufficient cover for your face for the peak there are two settings for it um, so obviously it's at its lowest level at the moment and you can raise it up one level two levels and that'll be at the highest that you can currently set the peak for. The visor, pretty straightforward, large visor as well. So there's a button release over here, which obviously it's, what's nice about it, you can clip the visor in. Some helmets only allow you to screw the self-close. It doesn't really lock into place. So that's a nice feature if you need it. Um, also it has a, where's the button? It also has the, of course the sun, uh, sun visor as well built into it uh, which is activated by the switch on the middle here very nice very fluid with the way the switch uh, the switch works um, and of course you can remove what's nice about this you can remove the the visor as well if you need to so there's a little piece here that pops off um, on this side and that side and this is a matter of just taking the screw off and you'll be able to take the visor off you can also remove the peak as well which is nice When we're looking at comfort, the materials that they've used for the inside of the helmet are just exceptional. Really soft, really smooth materials. They've also got um, a kind of cover for the, for, the, for the chin strap as well, and it's super comfortable. What's also nice is the foam has been laser cut. So for a better fit, to make it as comfortable as possible when wearing the helmet, which was interesting. All of the linings you can remove and are obviously washable. Right, well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try the helmet on for you uh, just so you can see what it looks like with the helmet on. That's our front profile, side profile. When we talk about the weight of it, it's 1.45 kilos. So a really light helmet. If you've had a heavier helmet that's, and you've tried this and you try this on, you'll have a noticeable difference. The shark helmet I had previously um, was significantly heavier and you could feel it just by picking it up. Even when you were wearing it, you could notice, uh, feel, the, feel the difference. Right, so here are my uh, things I like about it the most. First of all, design. I mean, the helmet's just gorgeous. Um, and uh, it was, you know, when you're buying anything, it's always about emotion. It's about what you see and you know what you like. And if you like it, you buy it. I like this helmet, so I bought it. Um, secondly, I like the features on it. I did a lot of research before I bought any um, any helmets. I had a price, you know, budget in mind too. Decided to spend just that little bit more. Um, I paid uh, a very good price for this helmet considering what you get features wise and was really blown away when it arrived. I never tried it on previously. I kind of just went with them, you know, with my head size. Um, I didn't get to feel the helmet beforehand. So for me, when I, when it arrived and I tried it on for the first time, it was just magic. Uh, I've been very impressed with this helmet. Uh, no major issues that, uh, that I can really go into except one, which I'll mention but I've been extremely happy with it. The comfort level is great. The materials that they use is, is, are fantastic. The sun visor for me was a big one as well because uh, I've had it in my previous helmet. So I wanted stuff that was in the previous helmet into the new helmet. And the certain things I like in relation to its design and materials, like I mentioned before.
Right, I'm going to go into uh, um, an issue I did have with it was when I was riding the other day and my whole visor came loose on this side and along with the peak. So while I was on the motorway, there was like a lot of squeaking noise going on and I was like, something's not right here. And what had happened was this screw here had actually come loose. Uh, luckily it was still intact, but the whole visor on the one side was totally off and the peak was hanging off as well. So luckily I managed to kind of pull off into a siding on the motorway Tighten it. I had obviously my screwdrivers with my toolkit, kind of tighten it up and pay for away. If I were to give this helmet a point score, I, it would be up in the upper eights um, out of ten. Uh, I've been exceptionally happy with it. Uh, I'd gone through a, a lot of the features already. There's no need to go over it again. But it's a helmet I would highly recommend. And if anyone said to me, would you buy another one? I would. I would buy another one of these helmets. Um, I mean, I've only had two brands. I had a Shark helmet previously and of course the LS2 now, but I've been exceptionally pleased and happy with this helmet to date. That brings the video to an end. Um, so if you're in the market for an adventure helmet, uh, I'd definitely check out the LS2 brand. Uh, they've got some excellent helmets there. They've got a huge variety. Uh, obviously, depending on what sort of bike you have, I would strongly recommend you check them out. I'll put the link in the description to their website. If there's any questions you may currently have, please leave them down below. I'll try and help you out as much as possible. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Um, it really helps the video. And of course, if you're interested in, in bike-related content, I currently live here in Ireland. I do travel videos. I've done reviews on, on certain bikes and obviously products. So be sure to hit that subscribe button as well. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye for now.